Welcome to Boing Boing. I'm Shani Jardin, and with me, right here, Miles O'Brien, science correspondent for the PBS NewsHour. Yeah, it's good to be here. I'll tell you, we're talking about one of my favorite subjects. It has nothing to do with journalism. <laughs> but it has everything to do with science. It's Breaking Bad. It's my favorite show. It's your favorite show, too. Uh, it is by far the best show I've ever seen on television, ever. Okay, so we were going to try to come up with a, a list of top 10 chemistry moments on Breaking Bad, but this show is so awesome and so filled with chemistry that we had to crank it up to 11, just like Spinal Tap. It goes to 11. This is a show that goes to 11. <laughs> you know, why not make 10 better? No, it just goes to 11. Moment number one. <laughs> this amazing scene, how we use the phosphine, using his chemistry brain to get out of a jam, which surely would have been his undoing. It was like black magic. It was like he was a male witch tossing black magic powder. <laughs> And the best scene is, you know, when he tries to shut that flimsy, you know, motorhome door. <laughs> and they start shooting through there. <laughs> I was like, that's good stuff. Okay, number two on the list. This is still, he's just now turning into the new Walt, right? Yeah. Bad Walt. But Bad Walt is coming out and he's at a gas station. <laughs> and there's this complete... D-bag. Can we say that? We can um, say douchebag, yes. Douchebag on the phone. Yeah, I would not want to be on the, the other side of this one. He's just being a douche. And Walt just, the old Walt, of course, would have shied away from all that. Yeah. The new Walt gets a sponge. There's like some kind of chemical on the sponge or yeah. something. It's chemistry. That's it was chemistry. <laughs> and when he's well clear of the scene, pa-boom. Yeah! Okay, number three. Walt tried to warn Jesse, but Jesse didn't listen. Uh, you know, Mr. White, they don't have plastic tanks that hold a body. Why you got me running around town trying to find some stupid piece of plastic? I just use the tub. But I have a perfectly good tub I can use. I mean, we had a tub, you know, dude. I barely got him in the bathtub. You used the tub? Bathtub, boy. Yeah. It was so gross. It was gross, and yet... But it was funny. How, how you can make a scene like that funny is is actually brilliant. That 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 is the the Vince Gilligan brilliance there, and and of course the the actors do a great job as well. But the way that is all staged is to be laughing at this goo, human goo coming. Yeah, it was like a a dude smoothie dripping <laughs> through the ceiling. <laughs> dude, dude smoothie. Next on our list, uh, number four is this DIY moment that uh, seems like it could have been pulled right out of the pages of Make Magazine. Yeah, Make ma the etch sketch So, uh, what's this stuff called again? Thermite. It was about creating a little charge to open up the door at the warehouse in order to get the big drum of... Meth Metholamine. Meth Metholamine. Metho yeah. Metholamine. And that will cut through a lock. Because this is supposed to be one big ass lock. This is in, 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 instead of going out and buying a bunch of pseudoephedrine, they went right. and got this big drum. And to get in, they made this thermite from Etch a Sketch. <laughs> And this is a chemical reality. And you know, that, that, that was tough, but it's not as tough as going to the drugstore to try to buy Sudafed when you have a cold. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, number five on our list. All right, Walt and Jesse are in the RV. They've been trying to cook meth. Uh, Jesse has all these snack foods. Jesse uh, forgets and leaves the key in the dashboard. Remember that? In and then the ignition. In the ignition. And they're totally screwed. They've lost all power and they're stranded out there. Yeah, dead battery. Uh, generator, I guess, had no gas. Oh, the generator actually ended up on fire, if I recall correctly. There was a whole sequence of events that led them into this difficult situation. Yeah. And sure enough. Damn. Chemistry saves them. <laughs> All 
All right, number six on our list. Crazy handful of nothing, blowing up Tuco's office with fulminated mercury. This is not meth. This is, this is like a lot of people wrote in to say that this is one of their favorite science moments. It's a great scene and this is, you know, uh, Walter emerging as Heisenberg and really, you know, showing his stuff. And this scene, you know, just shows w what stones he has. That's how this, right. He gets to this point where he's got, kind of got nothing to lose. Well, he does have nothing to lose. That's right. And in the case of Tuco, <laughs> he realizes it's him or, or, or Walt. And in this case, outwitting the crazy Tuco <laughs> didn't take much. It was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and a bunch of people were asking, why is it that everyone in that scene didn't die? Yeah. I, Tuco didn't die in that no. scene. I beat the piss! Interestingly, there was, the, you know, it, that was not the end of the, his interactions with Tuco. Yeah. It gets very interesting. One of, the, yeah. one of the many ways that Breaking Bad is unpredictable. Yeah. Okay, number seven. <laughs> Ryson. The, Ryson uh, plays a, a role in a, in a number of different episodes here. Uh, in one case, uh, uh, Walt and Jesse are going to lace a burrito with it uh, and, and kill Tuco with it. And then uh, there's also this idea of using it to kill Gus. Right, and, and the ricin always is a misfire. No matter, yeah. no matter which way it, it, it plays out, uh, it doesn't uh, kill Gus, ultimately. Uh, it doesn't kill Tuco. I think it's safe to say we haven't seen the last of ricin, don't you think? Don't you think? I'm just guessing on this one because of the way it's kind of loomed and yet not really taken its toll. Hmm. Which brings us to number eight. The, as far as I know never identified poison that Gus Fring himself uses to kill, successfully kill the cartel boss, Don Eladio. Uh, the poison tequila. Remember that, that fancy bottle of tequila? Salud. Gus is in Don Eladio's lair and everybody's drinking tequila. las chicas! Even Gus takes a sip. And, uh, and Gus gets sick from this. We don't, uh, as far as I know, we don't know that that was racist. Right. I, I, it's never stated, and that's a very interesting and I'm sure very mm -hmm. purposeful omission. Nothing is left out by accident. Nothing is out by accident. Of course, uh, going back to the flashback, when yeah. he meets Don Alario, uh, Gus loses his, it's his brother, right? That's right. And poisoning at yeah. that time. So uh, The Boyos Hermanos, the chicken yeah, brothers. The chicken brothers. And so, and I'm not sure they say how he was poisoned. So there's an interesting yeah. little thread here, which I think we're going to see mm. probably rear its poisonous head one more time, to mix my metaphors. And, and something that, that follows from that, number nine. <laughs> this jerry-rigged mash unit in the Mexican desert where an on-call doctor nurses Gus back to health. Yeah, I mean, Gus has already gone to the bathroom and, and you know, he's vomited out most of the stuff, but mm -hmm. there's this little, you know, mash tent waiting for him. Mm -hmm. Of course, one of the best scenes there is, you know, Mike has been shot through mm -hmm. this whole process. Four for four! Help! Jesse's like, wait, what about him? This man needs help! And Mike's treatment is put aside because the doctor says, uh, remember who's paying the bill here. You ain't the boss, yeah, Mike. This man pays my salary. So, uh, you know, the way that was equipped and dealt with and the way that uh, he was given, you know, the, the anti-venom, if you will. Yeah. Is that the right term? Anti antidote? Anti-venom? I mean, maybe it was snake poison. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's, that's the thing. This is an interesting unanswered question. So, another mysterious moment, another great chemistry moment, number 10 on our list. <laughs> Blowing up Gus. <laughs> what did they use? I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. you know. I ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding, 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 <laughs> And I know, um... I know they've been asked, is it possible that Gus survived? 
And, and Vince has responded to that and said, no, Gus is dead. I, I, think, I think that scene with the face off. Zombie Gus, it. perhaps? Yeah, I, you know, no. I, I, don't see, I don't see this program right. going in that direction. Right. I don't think they're going to jump a shark. They're going to have a great final season, no shark jumping. No zombie jumping. No zombie jumping, right. Number 11 on our list, Miles O'Brien. The very last item on our list. The great chemistry moments of Breaking Bad. And perhaps the, the pointing to the absolute depth that Walt has sunk to. Uh, you know, initially Jesse and he had, you know, had this horrible falling out because the presumption is that somehow this child... Uh, Brock. Brock. What's wrong with him? Yeah. Was poisoned by Bryson. Ryzen. Yeah. And, and eventually Jesse and he come back together because Jesse learns that the child was poised by, poisoned by Lily of the Valley. But we don't really know. Of course we don't. Of course we Just don't. because there happens to be, you know, a, a, a little planter of Lily of the Valley sitting next to Walt in his backyard in the very final scene of the very final episode. Well, you, you, it's interesting because you don't want to believe it because you sort of want... You want him to come to his senses, in a sense. You want him to not be that evil. Yeah, because you, you still identify with him as a character, yeah. right? And in the way that, you know, Tony Soprano, as evil as he was, right. you, sort of, you sort of identified with his plight. And so seeing that is just like, wow, this guy really has... I mean, this could be the ultimate anti-hero yeah. demise in television history, don't you think? Yes. Wow. I mean, I don't think we're going to be doing Journey and Don't Stop Believing and then cut to black. Don't stop. No. I, I, I think it's going to be a better resolution. That's just my gut on this one. Breaking Bad. How are we ever going to say goodbye?